It's the essence of trade deals is how much market have you got to offer the other side. So if Switzerland wants to go and have a trade deal with China, it says, here's our market, quite small. Your market's enormous. We need a trade deal with you. And China says, as they've done, fine. You can give us completely open entry into your economy um, and we will open up for you to trade into ours in 15 years' time. Now, that's a deal. It's Sorry, a deal you China, can do. That's the deal China that's did with Switzerland. China's done. So my point is that for Britain, you know, if everybody in the world believed in a free market as a matter of religious faith, Britain might have a chance. But that's not how trade negotiations work. Countries say, how big is your market? And that's the deal we'll do with you. And that's why Britain, as part of a European market of 500 million, is part of some very successful trade deals with more than 60 other countries. And that's Britain's market. Now, if Britain wants to try and negotiate those alone, there's two big problems. One, it will always be the rule taker. The big economies will always just dictate the terms. And second, it takes a lot of time. It takes, on average, 28 months to come up with a trade deal. And the reason that's important is all these flourishing sectors that Dan Hannon talked about, biotech, education, they need investment. Now, when investors decide they want to come to Britain, they want to know two things. They want certainty about what the rules are going to be, and they want a big market share. So if Britain says, well, we're not sure what we're going to have, it's going to take us a few years to negotiate, and we're not going to have access to a big market, Britain's got a problem.